Hello everybody, we are back here on the Hunter Call of the Wild, and today we are, instead of using like specific weapons or going for a specific species, we're just gonna go out into multiplayer and hunt whatever we can and see what types of trophies we end up coming out with. Now, this server we just joined is actually at Raccoon Drink Time, and so I'm kind of excited to go check to see if there's any diamond or rare raccoons along the uh, rivers and lakes and see if we can find anything spectacular. Oh my gosh. Oh yeah, I was not planning on that. Oh my gosh. I don't even know what just happened. I just like launched my dog. Oh my gosh. Y you poor thing, Hunter. What did you ever do to deserve that? Um, I, I don't know uh, how much of that you guys will actually get to see because my mic started bugging out very heavily after that happened and I had to reset it. But uh, yeah, we are good now. Hopefully... It wasn't like that for the first part of the video, but I mean, it's kind of hard to say. I didn't find anything good on the first server, so we did move on to another one. Hopefully, we can end up finding a few trophies. We're just going to head west like we have been and hopefully come across a few good tracks of some things that we can track down. Uh, hoping to find one of the other pieball variations for the raccoons or a rare fox. That's kind of my main two goals right now here on Mississippi. And then I'd also like to find a couple more patterns for the pieball gators because we only have two currently and it would be nice to get some more. Okay, so my microphone once again was uh, being weird and decided to kind of bug out. I don't know what's going on with it. It normally doesn't do it this much, but basically we took a shot at this level 5 warthog right here. Um, I'll probably just be doing this commentary over top of the actual clip of it, but I had gone back to the outpost so that we could grab our 300 magnum because I did come to this server to hunt K Buffalo. And instead, we ended up finding that level 5 Warthog and ended up getting a good shot on it with the 270. Now, I did want to uh, mention that I am going to be hunting multiple maps today. It's not just going to be Mississippi Acres. I think I forgot to mention that at the beginning of the video. But uh, yeah, we're going to be going to different maps. And on this one, we just found ourselves this little guy. I'm pretty upset that my microphone is acting up. It's not too often that it does it this much. Uh, this is an issue I've had for a long time because of the uh, software that I use to kind of remove background noise. Uh, Voice Meter is the app that I use and it kind of tends to have issues every once in a while and unfortunately today is one of the days where it's deciding to act up. But uh, let's go ahead and grab this. It is a diamond. 5890. Beautiful. Unfortunately, there's a bug right now where in the harvest screen it looks kind of glossy, but it won't look like that once it gets in the trophy lodge, thankfully. But uh, yeah, that is a diamond warthog, a 138.62 kg gray male. Not bad. That's pretty awesome. Hopefully, I'll be able to uh, salvage the footage of taking this guy down and make it make sense in some way. But this is a great start to the day. In fact, it's not really a start to the day because we've been hunting for 55 minutes. Sadly, didn't get anything good on Mississippi Acres in like the first 45 minutes, so I decided to switch it up and come over here. And uh, yeah, we got ourselves this little guy, so I'd say that's uh, pretty good. Glad I decided to go over to Verhonga. As far as I can tell, the original host of this server was a pretty low level because this entire upper area has no need zones, which is just an amazing sign anytime you enter a server and there's just no need zones on like half of the map. It's usually a good sign that it's an unsearched server and there's high chances that you'll find some good stuff. So it doesn't surprise me that we found that little warthog just randomly while hunting for the Cape Buffalo. I hope there's going to be some more things like that on this map. We're probably going to stick around on this server for a little while and hopefully find something else cool. Hopefully a kudu because I would like to get another diamond Truex kudu because I have seen that there is another horn shape and it looks even better than the diamond one that I got. So that's something that I'm going to be trying to get. Oh my gosh, are you kidding me? Oh my gosh, are you kidding me? It, all right, so when I said that I was hoping there'd be some more good stuff on this server, I didn't expect to find that. That's amazing. I hope that's leucistic. I don't have a leucistic. I killed one a long, long time ago, back before there was trophy lodges, but had never found one since. 
I, I really hope that's what this is. It's probably albino, but I really hope it's leucistic. Oh my gosh, this hunt has just gone from being 45 minutes of nothing on Mississippi Acres to two back-to-back -back amazing trophies here on Verhonga Savannah. Now we just got to get this thing down. I think that is leucistic. I really hope it is. I think that is, though. Okay, this is... Okay, actually, maybe... Maybe it is the uh, albino. It actually might be albino. Yeah, never mind. That is albino. It's still cool. I would have preferred leucistic, but... You know, I'll take that as well. It's still really, really cool. Uh, let's see if we can just get that in there. I think that should be a good shot. Yeah, it definitely is. That's a decent brown cape buffalo there, too. Unfortunately, the brown cape buffalo are over spawning currently. It's a known issue and it will be fixed eventually. But I've been trying to kind of avoid shooting those because of the fact they're over spawning and, uh, Oh, oh gosh. Well, that's our albino. It's now down. Uh, there's also currently a bug that's causing body CO invisible, which I believe that is also going to be fixed very, very soon. They recently put out something saying that they know about the issue. I believe it's in their known issues list on their Discord. So if you guys are curious what stuff they know about, that known issues list is a great place to go. But uh, that's one of the bugs they are currently working on fixing. And uh, yeah, it's a strange one. I honestly can't believe we found one of these. It's been so long since I've seen a rare cape buffalo. That's just so cool. That is just so incredibly cool to find. So let's go ahead and get a quick picture of it next to our dog. And uh, I think after that we will go ahead and pick it up. So uh, let's go ahead and see what this guy scores. It is a 12420. That is super awesome. Super, super awesome for sure. Let's go ahead and tax that. That's a beautiful albino cape buffalo. I really wish it was leucistic, but I will take it. That is still super awesome. And uh, looks like we made almost the heart shot I was after, but didn't quite get it. Aimed slightly too high. That was a 169 meter shot. Not bad. I'm really happy with that. This has been 100% worth coming over to Verhonga instead of sticking to uh, Mississippi Acres today. I'm really happy with this. Well, I was really hoping there would be a good Gemsbok on this server too, considering how much luck we have had here with that Warthog and then the Cape Buffalo. However, uh, it looks like the Gemsbok are nothing too impressive. I mean, that one doesn't look too bad. That one looks like it could be something, so we will probably try to get that, but none of these up close look like they're anything special. So. I think that is our only uh, opportunity at a good Gemsbok, but honestly that does kind of look like the horns that can make diamond. It's not the max weight estimate for females, so I don't know if it will make it. It's kind of 50-50, but it is uh, worth a shot at least because that is a beautiful Gemsbok. Hopefully it does make it, but I don't think it will. But we're about to find out because that was a solid hit and oh my gosh, that's a level 5. How did I not see that thing? But to be honest, that really does not surprise me. Gemsbok are one of the most common uh, diamonds to get, so it would not be uh, too out of the ordinary to have that level 4 make it and then that 5 also make it. Although, level 5 Gemsbok also troll quite a bit when they're the males. Uh, the females don't troll quite as often. Actually, as far as I know, I don't think a level 5 a female can troll. Actually, I know for a fact it can't because they're almost always max score. And a level 4 max weight estimate Gemsbok females always make it as well. So, a Gemsbok are one of those strange species where they just defy all logic of Call of the Wild and just kind of make their own rules. You know, I really wish I would have seen where that level 5 Gemsbok was because if I had known he was there, I probably would have took a shot at him first. Considering I've only got one diamond male and I've had like five or six trolls of them, it would be nice if we could get ourselves another diamond. I don't think that guy would have made it. It didn't look like his horns were big enough, but we're still going to chase him down and try to get him on the ground even though he has a very slim chance of making it. However, this female has uh, maybe a decent chance. Now that I look at it up close, I don't know if this is the big horns or the small. I guess we're about to find out. It is the small, unfortunately. So just a 330. It's not as good as I thought it was. So that's a little bit unfortunate. But we still have that level 5 male to chase down. Man, this hunt has gone from being so boring 
when we were hunting on Mississippi to just action-packed here on Verhonga Savannah. Well, I had to reset the time. I did end up getting host of this server, so I was able to go back and reset the time. But I don't see our guy. I haven't been able to find any Gemsbok that look even remotely like him. And uh, yeah, no level fives, but he was kind of like farther up here. Maybe I just don't have him rendered in yet. And I guess as we get closer, we'll find out if he is back at his spot. If not, we might have to wait a little while and who knows how long that's going to take for him to get back to his zone. And I don't know if I want to wait that long for what is most likely a troll level five, considering they almost always troll. But I suppose we'll wait a little while and see if we can end up spotting him again. If not, we might just have to uh, call it and just leave him for somebody else to get. All right, well, I had no luck trying to find it out in the field, so I decided to change the time to their drink time, and hopefully we'll be able to find it within the mega herd of Gemsbok that typically drinks at this lake. I know there's a lot of new people that are with the channel now that have just recently got the game, so I'm going to kind of show you guys where this is, because this is a very consistent hotspot on pretty much everybody's Verhonga Savannah map. If you go to this area, Anytime in their drink time, which I believe is like 5.30 to 8 or 4.30 to 8 or something like that. But if you go to this lake around that time, you will find so many Gemsbok around this area. It's honestly quite incredible and we're about to take a look at them. And uh, speaking of the five, there he is. But as you guys can see, there is just Gemsbok all over. And on some servers, you will find up to 100 Gemsbok or so just drinking at this lake. And uh, as we scan over to the left, there is some more there. Uh, they can even be over here sometimes. I just figured I would show that to you guys since it is a great spot to uh, make money and also just to find yourselves some diamonds if you're brand new to the game and are looking for a place to do so. But uh, let's try to take that guy down. Uh, he's going attentive. That's not good. That means there might be a lion near. And uh, I don't know if we're going to be able to get to him. He's kind of behind everything else. Uh, we're going to have to be very, very careful here. That's him right there. If we can just get him to move. Let's actually put the Argus scope on real quickly. And uh, see if we can just squeeze a shot in there right now. Oh my gosh, we heart shot him. You know, at first I thought we missed, but uh, we got a heart shot, so that's great. That saves us a lot of trouble. Another thing that's pretty beneficial for uh, finding diamonds and rares when you're relatively new to the game is unlocking all of your outposts. That way you have access to all of the different uh, hotspots on a lot of the maps in uh, multiplayer because that is uh, how you're gonna get a lot of diamonds early on. Just having those outposts unlock will help quite a bit because it'll make a lot of things accessible like uh, this hotspot down here and that really will help you get your trophies early on. And also just watching different videos, uh, different guide videos and uh, videos like this where we kind of go over a couple of the hotspots but I know we haven't done a lot of that this video but it's just kind of an example of uh, things that can kind of help you when you're first starting, but this does not look like a diamond to me. I think this is a guaranteed troll. Those horns don't look like the big horns, and yeah, 326, so that's unfortunate. It's a pretty bad troll, but that tends to be how the Gemsbok are 99.9% .9 of the time when you get a level 5 male. So uh, it's a little unfortunate, and it wasn't a heart shot, it was a vertebrae and double lung and spinal cord, wow. Okay, so we hit everything but the heart, basically. Well, this has officially been one of the best Verhonga Savannah hunts we've had in a very long time. And to be honest, I don't even know where we're going to put these guys. I don't really have any spaces in the lodge that we could put them. I mean, we could always remove one of these Cape Buffalo to get the brand new one. In fact, let's actually compare the score and see if it happens to be better. Okay, so it's not. It's not quite as good. So I don't think we'll keep this one in the main lodge. We will find a place to put it though, and unfortunately the Warthog is smaller than all of these, so we won't be putting that guy in here either, 
And so it looks like both of these are going to be secondary lodge additions instead, uh, which is a little unfortunate that they're not better than our personal bests, but it's still so cool to get an albino cape buffalo and a diamond warthog, especially after such a dry streak on Mississippi Acres for the first half of this video where I literally got nothing that I could put into this video that was even remotely interesting besides that gate launching our dog. Uh, but Veronga Savannah turned things around and that is why I love multiplayer hopping. Things could be going terribly and the next thing you know, you just get a server where you've got nice trophy after nice trophy and that's what we had today uh, but anyway if you guys are brand new to the channel be sure to subscribe click that like button and ring that notification bell so that you guys will never miss any of the future uploads also be sure to leave a comment down below on what maps you would like me to visit in multiplayer next and I will try to respond to as many of the comments as I can if there's one in particular that a lot of people are wanting me to do then we'll end up doing that but with that being said thank you guys for watching and I will see you all in the next one Peace!